finally, the day is here where I'm going to show you the update to my game room. Hey guys, I'm Evil Weight Rich. And like I was saying today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the things I added to my game room. It's been a while. I think the last time I did it, it was uh, I got the couch. But I've done a lot since then. I've been waiting to get the camera, the lens, the mic, put it off. Can't put it off any longer. Real excited about showing you what I've did. Put a brand new shelf system against the wall. I just finished it yesterday. And so without any further ado, let's get into the game room and let me show you where it is. Okay, so let's flip this camera around real quick. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, and we're gonna start from the left. So we're gonna go and turn around. All right, so first thing, I'm gonna start right here, is we have some uh, Fallout stuff. So let me throw my glasses on real quick so I can see old age is catching up with me here. All right, so we have some Fallout guys here. As you notice, we have two of the same, the hold the controllers. And the reason is because, uh, to be honest with you, there wasn't any communication at Christmas time, so that's why there's two of them. But it looks pretty nice. So we have those guys there. Down here we have some cartridges for the Total Control 4, which is a Coleco handheld. I did video on that already. So they call these cartridges. You just pop them in. And uh, this one here is actually the hockey one. You got your soccer here in the middle. And it looks like that's basketball there. I don't know why that's there. And then we have the console itself, the handheld system, total control there. And um, it's pretty cool. Let's see. Over here we have the baseball, head to head baseball by ColecoVision. See, now this is actually the cartridge right here I was talking about earlier, is where these guys are right here. See, that's what those are. So those are the handhelds that I showed you in the past. Down here on the bottom, we have the Dreamcast arcade stick, which has a VMU slot right there as well, which I did a video on that too. A couple controllers and a VMU right there. Okay, let's go back up to the top. Shelf up here, we have some Sonic mugs or cups, glasses, whatever. And over here, we have a PS2. The fat version, the big version. And then we have, right here, we have some Pac-Man stuff. It has like a butt, buttons and stuff in it. I'll display that later on. And then we have here, we have Link right here. And a Zelda book there. Another Link there. And another Zelda book there. Now these books I got at the thrift store for really cheap. And so that was a great find. Right here we have Rob the Robot. Right there in the middle. I don't have the, um, the other uh, accessories yet, but I do plan on getting them. And then right here we have the, uh, some Halo stuff. It's Halo uh, 5 there. We got a player's guide right here. And Marcus right there. And right here is an Atari book. It's a really cool Atari book. It actually has the art. So if you know anything about Atari, you know that the artwork on the Atari games is great. Never matched the games, but it looked really good. So that's a really cool book. I might do a video on that. Okay, down here what we have is my Tomb Raider collection. I'm just going to skim through this because I did a video on this already. So I'm just going to show you. This is all the Tomb Raider stuff I have. Okay. Down here, some more. And just some random guys right down here. It looks like some Cuphead or Mugman or whatever it is down there. Indiana Jones. Some more Tomb Raider stuff here. Player guide and game. Some more games here. Like I said, I did a video on this already, so I'm just going to skim through to show you. Some, more, some of the movies and some more of the games. Now, I have this door open, so I apologize if you see anything back there. <laughs> I got some figures back there. I have that open for the light because it's not that bright in here. That door is normally closed. What I'm going to do is put some posters so it will transition around the corner. Okay, over here is what I call my gallery wall. It's my Tomb Raider pictures. Elisa Vikander there and right there. And then we have some Angelina Jolie from posters there from the movie. And on the very top, you'll notice there's an open spot. And that's because I have a 
long poster that goes across, or it's made out of canvas. It has the evolution of Laura Cross as she from game to game. It's awesome, but I can't wait to get it up there. Um, I have to get a build it and put it on a piece of wood because the frame is going to be too expensive. So that's why that space is like that. It, it will look really good. I want to really get that up there quick. Now, I'm going to back up a little bit because what I did is I built these shelves. I literally finished these yesterday. And what these are is a 1x2 and 1x1. One one. And you see it goes along the wall here. And it goes all the way over here to my subwoofer. And it's framed around the subwoofer. So I'm going to put the PS2 games here, which are over to the right. I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to put them down. Put them down here. I have just a, I built a shelf on the top. And I just put a couple of Tomb Raider things up here for now, as you can see. Looks pretty cool. So basically what this is, is like I said, this is a 1x2, and you got the 1x1s here. And it's pretty simple. The games just sit against the wall right here. But if you don't have enough games, they're, obviously they're going to fall back because there's nothing there. So what I did is I built these little stops. Basically it's a 1x1 piece of, piece of wood and a, uh, let me focus on that, and a angle here, it's 25 by 25 just screwed it in there, slide it right in there, good to go. And it holds them. That's if you don't have it completely full. So that's pretty simple. So I finished this yesterday, I'm real happy with it. Came out really good, and I'm going to stain all this stuff. So everything here will be stained. I'm not sure what color. Over here under the window, I'm going to put the Xbox One games are going to be here. And um, let's move this surround speaker so you can see. And um, like I said, it goes around the subwoofer. If you look right there closely, those games right there where the controls are sitting, those are actually sitting on the subwoofer. And then that wood is flush, and there's a little block I made, and it just goes all the way across. So, and then the subwoofer obviously is right here with the controls for the stuff there. All right, so let's work around this way. Let's get around this light here. So what we have here is this was already in here, this rack has Xbox on it and Xbox 360 down here and the PS2 on the bottom. And right there is a uh, Mafia 3 set, which is pretty cool. So these PS2 games are going to come out and go over there, as I said earlier. Okay. And what I'm going to do is work my way around to the other side and then I'll show you the consoles. All right. So back to the door, I have this rack is another new addition since the last video that is. And it's basically the same thing. So see, I got some games on the top there. I got some uh, Sega Saturn games, Sega CD, uh, 64, 32X, you know, some Genesis games, some Atari games. And this is actually a PlayStation. The original games came in these big boxes. Down here, the original PlayStation games, the Jewel Cubes. So again, another little block. See, it just sits right in there, nice and simple. We gotta make some more. And this is obviously open for either more PlayStation or game or Dreamcast, either Dreamcast right here. And these are all, always all the Nintendo games, NES, Super NES, 64. I don't have a lot I used to, but the boys got rid of them. So we got to build that back up. Down here we have some uh, Sega Genesis games. Uh, that's, a, that's a 32X game there. We got some ColecoVision games. These games are the ones I had since I was a kid. These ones, these ColecoVision games. And some Atari games. See, this is going to get full. This is all adjustable to where I can take these games out here, which are GameCube. These can come out of here. These racks can get shorter, add more so that they can be... I'd like this to be all cartridges over here eventually. So these probably got to come out. So these are the GameCube and the Wii's down here. And that's just a paper towel holding it for now. And there's a uh, webcam I never used. Another new addition on this side is these shelves. Now these shelves aren't finished. I'm going to put an edging on this here. So it sticks up a little bit, probably stain them or whatever. They're going to be fastened down. They're not really fastened down right now. But I like them because they're adjustable. Right now on the top there is the NES and um, GameCube with a skid on it, cool skin. And then we have a, this is called a video arcade. This is a Intelli, Intelli Games, or Telegames, sorry. Sears version of the um, 2600. This is a heavy sixer. And down here is, come on, focus. Down here is the ColecoVision. Now, I don't know what happened to my original. I couldn't find it, so I had to pick that one up, and I did a video on that one. There we go. So this section here, I like it because it's adjustable, 
And then I'm, I'm going to use this primarily for putting the RF systems like the Ataris and the ColecoVisions and, and the stuff like that because they're not going to be connected. They're not going to be wired in because you need them close to you when you need to use these controls and you're using those controls there, you need them kind of close to you. So that's why they're there. And they're also right next to the CRT, which is right here. So there's a CRT, same spot as before. There's a bar thing for the Wii. And some uh, figures I picked up along the way. Kirby and the bomb guy and the bullet. I'm not sure if those guys have names. Oh, Kirby does. Because his name's Kirby. Okay, so now I'm gonna work back and we'll show you what's on the rack. Okay, so on the top left here, we have Sonic, who's cool. And right here, I have a power supply. I'm going to go through it, and then I'll come back. Here's the power supply. And then we have a surround speaker with the Little Caesars dude. I'm not sure why Little Caesars guy's there, but there's my uh, Onkyo uh, receiver. And the number on the Onkyo receiver is, let's see if I can see it myself. It is tx dash NR-676. Then we have a couple little things here. This little doodads, I guess you know, I mean, this, this Atari set, I showed that, it's got some Atari stuff in it. You know. And here's a Nemesis guy. He's cool. Mean. Down here, what we got is all the consoles. We got the Xbox original. We got the Xbox 360. This is, the, this is the Duke controller, by the way, one of the original FAT controllers. I have a couple of those. It's the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. Now, this controller is white because this controller goes to the Xbox One S, which is downstairs, which will be up here soon because as soon as the new Xbox comes out, we'll buy that, and that will be downstairs, and the Xbox One S will be up here. So, obviously, this the TV. I got John Voigt there. It's a Tomb Raider. Uh, okay, that's enough of that. And then um, right here, which just kind of doesn't fit in the game room, it's a, it's a lightsaber that was given to me. This is actually a, one of those battle ones. You can actually bang it and use it in battle. Let's turn it on. It looks real nice. Nice blue light. So that's pretty cool. Star Wars fans. I'm not even a huge Star Wars fan. My sister got married and her husband is, and so I ended up getting that. Down here is the Dreamcast with the cool green controller. Here in the middle is the PlayStation 2, and, and right there is Elliot. So hello, Elliot. It's my baby. And then Elliot's tail. And then uh, right there is a Retron. That's a Retron. I don't know what that is. Retron HD. I'm gonna, that doesn't even work. Uh, actually, it does work, but it's not connected. I'm going to get a Retron 5 and put it in there. And that way, I don't have to use the consoles if I don't want to, and I can play them on here. There's Angelina Jolie. Chilling. And down here, we have some controllers. Some extra controllers down here. And I don't even know what that is. Here's all the, all the wires, connectors, all the connectors, all kinds of wires and wires connectors. Here's a subwoofer. Now, that's not even connected yet. That's going gonna, gonna to make a bracket for that. The only speakers are connected to the left and right as of now. On this side, we have the Blu-ray player. There you go, focused. Uh, Fast and Furious car. I'm not really sure why that one's up there. Another power supply. Then we have here the the Genesis is a, a version version one with a version two CD and a 32x on top. Okay, and then over here we have the Sega Saturn U.S. version, of course. And over here we have the GameCube. I paid five dollars. Oh, what was that all about? Paid five dollars for that GameCube. It works perfect. Over here is a mug. It was in that's in that set over there I showed you before. That Pac-Man set. It's actually not in the set. It's here, but it came with the set. It's a, a Wii. Paid five dollars for this as well. It doesn't have the side on here, but this one actually plays the GameCube games, so I don't really care. And um, then we have the original PlayStation. With the Ghost Recon guy on top there. My son put that there. Okay. And then over here we have the TurboGrafx-16. And what I did there is I got an extra wire extension so I can play this on the couch. And it's wired in with the Hypergen connection there. So now it's AV instead of RF right there. And so I can have it wired in permanently. 
Only thing I don't like about it is you have to remove the back. I like the back on there, but it is what it is. I want to get the CD eventually that goes with it, but it's pretty expensive. There's a little duck my son got. I'm not even sure what that is. Fallout duck. Rubber ducky. And here is a 64, which is not wired up. The original controller. And moving down, we have an Atari 2600 Light Sixer, made in Sunnyvale, California. Now, when they made the original Ataris, if you don't know, they made them in Sunnyvale, and they were called Heavy Sixers because they have the thicker sides. Then when they made the Light Sixers, the next run, basically, they did it overseas, but they made a few here first. Well, that is a from Sunnyvale, so they're not as easy to find. The Light Sixers, Light Sixers from Sunnyvale. So that's pretty cool. Over here in the middle is a PlayStation Mini, I think they call that, with the official PlayStation screen. I love that thing. That's not wired in either. That way I can take it with me somewhere and play games on it. Great. There's a 360, our original 360, with the Redskins cover there. All right, now I'm going to go back and explain how everything works. Okay. Everything that I want to play will work on the receiver. So if I turn anything on, you're going to get sound out. Like right now, I have the Ankyo receiver on. It's on the DVD player. And if the Tomb Raider movie is on, and if I turn it up real quick, you can hear... You can hear the sound come out and everything, but I'm not going to leave that on. So that's how that works, okay? So obviously, if you're playing a game, you flip this to game, and then each one of these switches represents something different. So right now, the DVD player is on. The Blu-ray player is on, so 8 is on. Number 8 is on right there. And so then that goes to the Blu-ray player, and then the TV is on. So this first switch right here, number 1, actually powers these little, this little HDMI box down here and that converter there. And so I have to flip that on first if I want to run the system. Uh, that's running through there and then two is actually going to be the uh, Xbox and then be 360 and Xbox one and you just go down the line I got to get a labeler too so I can label all these but that's how it works so you flip the switch you want which this switch will be on flip that on powers those the uh, HDMI uh, in and out converter thing whatever they call it and then you flip whatever you want here to power the system then you play the system it will automatically switch okay now, only thing that's powered in this room are both power supplies, so that's two. This receiver, which is three, and both TVs, the flat screen and the CRT. So that's five things that are powered in this room at all times, and that's it. I have GFCIs in the wall there, and everything's got breakers, everything's protected. So nothing else is on unless I want it on. Okay, so that's how it works. You flip the switch, and you're good to go. Obviously, i got to tidy up a lot of the wires and stuff like that. Nice and simple. Okay, this side, same thing, but the only difference here is because if, you know, if you're familiar with this particular system, each one of these is individual, is an individual unit, and each one of them has its own power supply. So there's three power supplies for this, so meaning three switches as of now. So we got switch one, two, and three are actually for that alone, and then you have four to be over here for the Saturn, and then so on, GameCube, five, six... So basically, I'm running out when I get down here to the Turbo Graphics because I had to use those three. And so I don't have one for the 64. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, buy a, a one to three nice heavy wire, and I'll put it on one switch. And then I'll just take care of that, and then it just gives me extra. The only difference on this side is when you flip it, let's say you flip these three on. I flip them all three, even if I'm running to one, because it can go together. Flip all three of these on. Let's, say, let's, just, say, let's just use the PlayStation. PlayStation, flip the PlayStation switch on right here, which is seven. And then you flip on five on this side. And then that turns it on because these ones coincide with that. But these ones don't have the power supply. So it's because this is sitting here, one, two, three, four, and five. It makes that five right there like that. So that's how that works. Come on, focus. Boom. Okay, so you'd flip on the, whatever you want to play, flip on the corresponding one over here, which is not going to be the same numbers, and then there's a corresponding, but we flip on the one that accesses it, and then it comes on, and you're good to go. Obviously, you turn the receiver on, you get the sound coming out of the receiver. That's how that side works. 
So I got to get a labeler, but that's how everything works. All right, so let me back up and get a, a better overall view here. All right, there's L8 right there. Hey, beautiful. Say hi. Okay. All right, so here we go. It's an overall view. The game's on the left. It's all the consoles. CRT, shells, with games on them, consoles on them, more games. Where the door's supposed to be. Shelf on top. Everything. Virtual Boy. I forgot to show you the Virtual Boy. That's right where the Virtual Boy is sitting. There he is right there. Did a video on it last week. Almost forgot you. So that's where the Virtual Boy is. Shelf up top. And all my Tomb Raider stuff. And the Tomb Raider gallery wall, as I call it. And that's it. And the shelves. My new shelves that I love so much. And that's the game room as of now. All right, guys. Whoop! Caught me with my own old man glasses on. All right, guys. Uh, that's gonna do it. Uh, hopefully, you liked the video. So I've done a lot of stuff to it since then. I'm really happy with it. I love it. I love the way those shelves came out. Like I said, I gotta put some stain. I'm not sure what color yet, but I get something on there. But uh, really happy with it. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. I really appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys, you know, being uh, along for the ride. It looks, uh, I'm not really riding anything, you know what I mean. Um, but uh, it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, put them down below. And uh, we'll just go on from there. So I'm just going to keep building, keep adding stuff. And I'll do another video in the future where with the new stuff I put on there. All right, guys. So today is uh, sun, uh, Saturday. Tomorrow is Father's Day. I wanted to do something on Tuesday, but my internet went down. I had a, all brand, I have a brand new router and, and uh, modem and everything now. So I'm good to go. But uh, so it's Saturday. Tomorrow's Father's Day. So for all you fathers out there, God bless you guys. Happy Father's Day. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I uh, appreciate it. And I'm uh, not sure what I'm going to be doing next week. But um, hopefully you guys are there with me. And uh, just going to keep on, keep it on, keep on moving. All right, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you guys uh, next week. All right. God bless. Bye.